methods. So the first method is to make your boards look kind of like Trello, because I'm guessing that's what you think when you are thinking, I really just want it to be pretty. So if you go into any of your spaces, so I'm in my YouTube space right now, and over here, you want to make sure you have the board view. Now, if you don't have the board view, just go over here to view at the top and make sure that board is added and you can add it as a view. So I already have it added, um, but if I go to something that is not there, like the Gantt view, and I click add view, you'll see Gantt comes up as an option. Um, so make sure that you have board selected. Now, once you have board selected, the second step is you can add images to any of these boxes so that it will look just like it did in Trello. So if I open this up and you can see I have a statement of work in here, but if I want to add a picture over here, all I have to do is drag and drop an image right here into the description section of the task and I don't even have to hit the save button and it's done. So I could just keep going down this list over here and I'll probably just put it towards the top so you can see it. And I will just put any old picture over here so you can see what they are. I haven't actually made thumbnails for this. Um, but then as you go down, you are going to be able to make this as pretty as you want so that there are images of anything and everything that you want to see inside of here. So then when you come to your board view, you're actually going to see images first before you actually maybe even see the name of the task. And maybe just visually, that's a little bit more appealing to you in terms of making ClickUp prettier. Now, the second thing you can do too is you'll notice I'm pretty simple with my task statuses. It's either I have to do it or it's complete. I never really start a YouTube video and then like it's halfway done or I have to edit it. Like I do everything in one foul swoop. However, to make this board prettier, you might wanna have new statuses so you could kind of move things from one area to another. Um, right now I just have two. So if I wanted to, I can go over here to the left to this space, click those three dots and I can go to space settings and I will say all space settings. And then over here where it says task statuses, you can see I only have two, but I can add some statuses over here. I just click add a status and I can say in progress. Um, and then that will be one status. And I could make that, let's say pink. And I could add another status and I could say filming and I could make this one blue and I could add another status that says editing and I could make this one purple and I can just keep going and I can say post posting. So I need to post it to YouTube and I can make that red for YouTube. And you know, I can do all of those things, go ahead, review changes, save those. And now when I go back into that board, you'll see I have all these other uh, statuses over here so I could start moving things around. So then it does become just like Trello. So it becomes prettier if you like that visual and that's one method. And I told you I would show you a second method. And the second way is to use dashboards. So over here on the left, you'll see this section called dashboards. You may have never gone into it, but dashboards are kind of like your desktop for ClickUp. You can just make this however you want with these things called widgets. Now, if you have an Android phone, you're probably very familiar with widgets to help customize your desktop look. And I can add any tasks that I want. I can add even cute little chips like this, um, or I could use one of their pre-made uh, templates that are inside of here. So all you have to do is go over here and say, add a dashboard. And let's say we were gonna use one of their templates. So it could be whichever template, and I could say, which space do I wanna use? I could say, select all. And I could do the time range. I could say this year by, and I could say by weeks and I could apply that and then you'll see it just automatically populates everything that I need that's in this particular template. So there's our pretty colors that we had from before um, and all of the tasks that need to get done, uh, drill down to specifics, overseas. So they're giving you some suggestions over here on what to add. And again, you know, I don't use the templates mostly because the reporting I believe is useful. However, um, 
I, I, I'm not really set up like that for the dashboards and reporting because it's just me and <laughs> me by myself. Not to say there's not value in setting that up, um, but I really, like I started out with this video, I just want to make something pretty. So what you could do over here is we could just go ahead and we could start a new dashboard and we could say start from scratch. And then over here, probably I want my task list, that's the most important. And I'm just going to go ahead and say select all so I can get all of them in there and I can group them by status assignee obviously I'm just the only one working here so maybe I'll group them by due date um, I'm definitely going to include my subtasks because I personally have a lot of data in my subtasks I don't need to filter these tasks by anything but you can filter it by uh, any number of items um, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and say add widget. And when you add that widget, it puts it right here onto, I guess what I'm gonna call your ClickUp dashboard workspace. And you'll see that this can be wider and it can be taller. So you can make it as tall or as wide as you want. And it's super easy, just like you see me doing right now. All you have to do is click and drag. And then those little cute widgets that you saw over on the side. So if we add a widget, the simplest one is a text box. So over here, if you do the slash and you say Jiffy, um, and then all you have to do is whatever you want to say, like cute puppies. And cute puppies will appear. How nice is that? <laughs> and so you can say, add this widget. And maybe I just, it just brightens my day to look at a cute puppy every day. So I'm just going to stick this over here on the top. And maybe I want to look at a, another widget of maybe kittens. So I could do this again. And I can do Jiffy and I can do kittens. And over here, so I could shuffle through and look for more. Uh, okay, oh, that is adorable. <laughs> I think we're going with the Jedi kittens. All right, so I can add my Jedi kittens also over here to the top. And you'll see it says text block. I can just add something cute like uh, my future puppy. And over here, I can say, um, uh, you know, something like uh, Lucky's future um, sibling because I want to get another cat. And so we can put those up there. Now you can put your own pictures here too. So it's so easy. All you pretty much text block is my go-to for everything, but you'll see there are a ton of different widgets. Now pie chart is really only useful if you actually have data in there to fill up a pie chart, a line chart or anything else with percentages. I personally do not. So I don't really need that. Um, over here sprints. Again, this is more to me like somebody who really wants to utilize all of these features and I think they're great and you should definitely check each of these out and try um, tag again only useful if you're using the tags which I do not assignees I'm the only person so I probably wouldn't use this um, again priority breakdowns if you did not remember if you did not put this data into your tasks there will be nothing to pull so a good idea might be to just go through here and say hey you know what do I find useful that I want to go back into my task list and go ahead and try to put data in there so when I pull this out then I can actually see it. So you can actually embed a YouTube video. So if I find something useful that I want to add, I can just go ahead and add that YouTube video by adding that URL. So I've been trying to learn how to draw, so maybe I want to just go ahead and paste my favorite YouTube video on Procreate and how to draw. So it's right in here for me. I can play it from right inside of here without having to go out into YouTube and leave my dashboard. So I could get everything done inside of here. And then also you saw that you can actually add external um, images as well. So over here, I could just drag and drop an image. So maybe I want to drag and drop a cover I'm working on. I really just wanted to drag and drop it inside. There we go. Um, I liked looking at covers. It kind of like inspires me as I go. And again, I can say um, work in progress or I could say novel in progress and I can add that widget and it's going to drop it to the bottom. So what I could do is again, I can make this widget a little thinner I can grab this widget and drop it up here. So I don't have any white space and I can make this widget, um, my top widget that goes right up here. And then I could actually make this one a little bigger. So, 
I could probably track my word count underneath here too. So again, I would just go through, explore things, see what you like, like what do you like to look at when you're up here? And again, to make it prettier, I mostly think of images. I know that there are much more technical videos out there on dashboards and how to add all of those widgets that you see over here. Again, I can't do math, so we're not gonna do that, but any of these other cool things that ClickUp has available, like I said, your first step would be to go through all these widgets, see which ones that you want to add, like, and then start adding, you have to go back into your tasks and add that data so it's there for it to pull from. And there is a dashboard webinar that you can watch over here from ClickUp. And it's 25 minutes, it'll go way more in depth. And then there's also a dashboard guide if you're like, I would rather just read it versus watch it. But I bet you're like me and you'd rather just watch it, which is why you're watching this video. All right, I hope that was helpful. Remember this first step I said was to simply go into your spaces, go into YouTube and you can make boards just like you are used to maybe in Trello. And then the second thing you can do is you can create dashboards like the one I have here or the one we just created, or you can use the templates and start using those, uh, populating that with your data as well. All right, I hope that was helpful and I will see all of you later. Bye.